How you doing everyone? My name is Robert Torres and I chose my co-worker Michael Kazuba to do this self-awareness interview. So what we're going to do today is I'm conducting an interview with you. It's going to be a series of open-ended questions, kind of just a self-awareness interview basically, kind of taking a look inside and seeing what you really feel about certain topics. So okay. thank you for sitting down with me and we'll go ahead and begin. Name three things that make you happy and kind of describe why they make you happy. One thing off the top of my head that definitely makes me happy is running. Uh, I enjoy running just because you, you get to go out there, you get a good workout, you get to, well, when you're running, you, you get to clear your mind, you can focus, it just helps me clear, like think clearer, and I just enjoy it. Another thing that makes me happy is when I get time to work on my car. Uh, my life is sort of busy, so I don't always get the chance to go out there and work on it, but when I do, it's sort of like a, a zen type thing, it just helps me focus, uh, I re like relax and I just enjoy working on it so it's a fun activity. And off the top of my head, the third thing I really enjoy doing would probably just be playing video games just because I get to sit back, relax, just focus on something that's not work related or that has any dire consequences, you just get to go out, well not go out, but you get to sit down and relax and just play something you enjoy doing. Okay. So kind of what I'm getting from there is the same thing for me. You like to do a lot of things that you enjoy, but take your mind off of some of the, maybe the more stressful things going on in your life. I like to take my mind off of things by playing sports. I love to watch sports as well. So I definitely understand what you're doing. I'm, I'm also a big game player. So I understand how that can take your mind off of things when life can be stressful as well. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the second question I'll be asking is, what is the importance of living in the present moment? And what do you need to do to live in the now? Living in the present can have a lot of good benefits, I would think. Just because if you don't dwell on past experiences, they won't hinder you and you just keep on going forward and you won't have those past experiences holding you down. So to live in the now, I just keep looking forward. I try not to dwell on the past too much. I just keep looking at my next step, my next goal, and what it takes for me, or from where I am now, and how to get there, and just accomplish everything in between, just keep moving forward. I agree with you. It's it's important to live in the now, and if you are going to look into the past, you have to just briefly look there. You have to learn whatever lesson you could have learned from that event, and then, you know, like you said, just keep moving forward, keep striving for a goal, so I would agree with you as well. The third question is, what are some possibilities you are currently creating for yourself? Uh, some current possibilities I'm creating for myself is, right now I'm attending school to finish my bachelor's, and hopefully obtaining that and maybe even move on to my master's will open up a bunch of doors for me, and like after the Air Force and such. And also I'm currently, I guess you could call it networking. I'm getting to know people. I'm just getting my name out there. I'm trying to make a good and positive influence on everyone I meet, and hopefully my name will be recognized as something good and not be looked down upon. That's awesome. I think it's important to keep your options open because nothing today is really guaranteed, especially with you know the way the economy is right now. So I think I think what you're doing is good because it's important to you know, have other options. This isn't obviously something we can do for the rest of our lives. But exactly. That's good. All right, question number four. Tell me, what is the be your best definition of life? And tell me how you develop this belief, your ideal life, I guess you could say. My best definition of life is just something where I could be happy. I don't have a set goal or set mindset, but as long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing and like I'm not, I don't have any too many outside stressors, and I'm in like a peaceful environment, I think that would be the I ideal life. Like I'm not trying to become a millionaire or have tons of money. I just need to find what makes me happy currently, and then that's that's what I'll be content at. Okay. So so personal happiness to you pretty much equates to a quality or good life. That's a good definition of life for you. Exactly. Okay. And then uh, our final question for today will be: What do you need, or what do you want to do to live your best life? Like, what are some goals? What do you need possibly? in order to live the best life possible? To live my, the best life possible, I would just, like I said on the previous question, just need to be happy. And to do that, I would probably need to eliminate all outside stressors. For instance, 
I would like to be in a job where I'm financially like financially safe. I don't have to worry about paying bills or don't have to worry about becoming homeless or not being able to put food on the table. I would also like to be in an area where there's a lot of like outdoorsy activities. Like in the area we live now, I can go running, mountain biking, snowboarding. If I was in a city, I don't think there'd be too much of that. So basically, my surroundings need to be just right for me, and I don't need to. I don't want any like outside stressors to be uh, happy. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. What I got from the interview is happiness has a lot to deal with each individual person and what they find what they find happiness within I guess you could say he likes to you know take his mind off of things and really you know delve into hobbies and activities that he enjoys and that leads to him having a good life so thank you for sitting down with me today no problem have a good one